Okay, so today I'm working on this wood stove and I'm modifying it so it'll fit into the existing fireplace that's in my house. Now I've already cut the outer skin off of it and I need to, you know, cut down the rest of it. Uh, I used a cutting wheel on a grinder for this and this is a little bit thinner material uh, but it still took quite a while and uh, I'm going to go through a million cutting discs if I carry on this way. So what I want to show you is another method of actually cutting with uh, an arc welder. And I've done this before, so it should work. Uh, I've got this welder here. I've just got it on AC. And right now, I've set, set the amps at about 200. Uh, so that's just, uh, just kind of a guesstimate as to where I want to be. And if you take a 6011 welding rod, you can actually use them to cut. Uh, so what I've done is I had a jug of water and I just soaked them for a couple hours and that gets the flux nice and wet and that'll help the uh, electrode last a little longer and keep it a little cooler. And all you do is just uh, make like you're striking an arc where you want to cut and uh, the theory is it just, you know, the arc blasts away the material. So. Uh, we're going to give it a shot and we'll see how it works. Oops. I just realized these are 6013s. These are some old ones I had laying around. I thought they were 6011. Shoot. Well, now I don't know if this is going to work, but... Well, we're going to give it a shot anyway. Okay, so as you can see it does work. It's definitely not as effective as uh, using a 6011 electrode, but it is working, so I'll, I'll use the ones that I soaked up anyway. And, uh, you know, that might be enough. But there you go, that's a, you know, a cheap alternative to, um, you know, actually using a plasma cutter, because, you know, plasma cutters are expensive, and not everybody has one, but stick welders are a lot more common so you know it's not ideal it's not the best but you gotta you know make do with what you have sometimes and I think this is a great alternative to uh, you know wasting your cutting gas on your cutting torch or wasting uh, grinding wheels so I'm gonna carry on and get this thing cut open and so here's the aftermath of my poor man's plasma cutter attempt on this thing. So, it's it's okay. I mean, it's pretty rough, pretty ugly. But, at the same time, it works. And so, to do all this, uh, I probably went through about um, 20 electrodes. And those were the 6013s, not the 6011s I wanted to use. So, I'll have to go through and hit it with a grinder, but, uh, you know, I, I still think it was worth it for, you know, if you've got a bunch of old electrodes lying around that you're otherwise not going to use for welding, really it ends up not costing you anything, so. I just want to say I hope someone finds this information helpful, finds it useful, and uh, thanks for watching.